the Nebraska Wesleyan University Sports Network, in conjunction with Five City TV and the Great Plains Athletic Conference, presents Prairie Wolves Basketball. Today is a GPAC matchup featuring the Tigers of Doan College and the Nebraska Wesleyan University Prairie Wolves. This game is made possible by Lincoln Electric System. It's your electricity, own it. Union Bank, you belong here. And Nebraska Wesleyan University. Now let's take you out to Snyder Arena. Welcome to Snyder Arena for Great Plains Athletic Conference basketball action as the Tigers from Doan come to town to take on the Prairie Wolves on the Nebraska Wesleyan Sports Network. Good evening, I'm Lucas Mormon, joined by Wade Tracy, and the Nebraska Wesleyan women are looking to pick up a GPAC win for the first time this season. Their last win came over these Tigers last year here at Snyder Arena. They're going to have to do a few things to make sure that can happen tonight. Yeah, but throw out the records when these two teams get in the gym together. These two teams have a history of having close games. Three-point game last year. Throw out the records when these two teams play. Now, the uh, remember the Titans, the Norris Titans, Booker into Colstay for Nebraska Wesleyan. Leading scorers, going to have to run the offense for Nebraska Wesleyan. Now, on the other end of that, Nebraska Wesleyan's going to have to play some defense. Doan averages 71 points a game. Nebraska Wesleyan only averages 60 points a game. Something's going to give there if Nebraska Wesleyan wants to get a victory in this one. That's right, and for those Tigers, they're going to have to avoid the letdown. They pushed number one Morningside, number one in the country, to overtime and lost at home on Saturday. They're also going to have to do it with the experience they have. Lean on their seniors, four returning starters on this squad. In addition, they're going to have to play with the lead and control it. Last year, they didn't do that. They never really put Nebraska Wesleyan away and that let the Tiger or the Prairie Wolves stick around and hit that shot at the buzzer. We talked about a couple of those key players to Colstay along with um, the Booker. Other, Booker, and they average double digits. For the Tigers, it's Dostal and Broman, and Dostal averages almost a double-double a game, right at 9.8 rebounds, 15.8 points per game. Like we said, throw the records out their window when the Tigers come to town. It's GPAC basketball tonight on the Nebraska Wesleyan Sports Network. Couldn't see it at first. I'm Ryan with LES's Save Money Saving Energy, and it's first filter Friday, so I'm just checking my furnace filter here. Looks like it's about time for a clean one, which I just happen to have right here. You know, a small investment today can really reduce your heating costs and improve your efficiency. You can really see the savings. Yeah? <laughs> for more tips like this, visit us at les.com or do a search for LES Video Vault on YouTube. We will see you next time. You should pick Wesleyan because it's a school that whatever you want to be in life, you can certainly do it. I wanted a small school, small campus where I could be one-on-one -on -one with my professors. It's just like one big family, not to mention the, the kind of education she gets is wonderful. I didn't apply to any of the schools. I know Wesleyan was the one that I wanted to come to. We want you to come join us and be part of the Prairie Wolf family and be a part of the tradition of success. This summer, all Nebraskans can test their skills against some of the best amateur athletes in the nation when the 2015 State Games of America come to Lincoln and Omaha. With an estimated 20,000 athletes expected to compete in more than 60 sports, this year's event is on track to be the largest in history. Make sure you're a part of it. Register now at SGA2015.com. The 2015 State Games of America. More competition, more fun. I always paid attention to fashion when I was growing up. And it's just fun to see it go from sketch pad all the way to actually being on shelves. Shoulder is a scarf with a pocket that you can store all of your basic necessities in. I think it's pretty amazing how quickly the company's grown. Union Bank has believed in me from day one. They have moved mountains for me to bring my product to life. The opportunity with Shoulder has led me all over the country. I love what I do. Welcome back to Snyder Arena. Starting lineups just being announced here is the Prairie Wolves. 2 and 12 coming into the game. Going to pick up their first conference win of the season. Doan pushed number one Morningside to the brink on Saturday. 
overtime loss to the number one team in the nation. They're nine and ten overall, five and four in GPAC play, looking to even that record. They're coached by Tracy Fairbanks and Brittany Fett in her second season at the helm of these Prairie Wolves. Last year, when the Tigers came to time in town, it proved to be an exciting contest as they picked up one of those their last conference win back here at Snyder Arena. I'm going to have Wade Tracy along tonight as we get ready for our first GPEC contest here on the Nebraska Wesleyan Sports Network. Officials tonight, Doug Miller, Ann Schroeder, and Jeff Schwartz. There's Brittany Fett, her second year. She's got four wins. They have two wins this season. They're non-conference wins. She's no stranger to the GPEC either. Up in the Sioux Falls before they went up to the NAI. Or to the NCAA. We get ready to go here. Jump and circle will be Bridget Booker, one of those Norris Titans we talked about in the open. Tigers control it right to left as we go here. Four returning starters in the squad in the lane. Kick it out. Got a hand on the defense. That's to Colstein with the steal. See if she can go coast to coast. Up and in. First two of the game to Colstein. Dodged the bullet there. No one picked up the uh, offender and ended up getting a steal out of it. So Nebraska Wesley out to the early 2 0 lead. Kick across the lane, one dribble, three, top of the key. A little short, poked around. Out of there with it comes Amanda Diaz, the sophomore from Arvada, Colorado. The first two times down the floor, Doan's been happy to take the eight, make the extra pass trying to get the open shot. Almost looks like they've given up a couple open looks for those extra passes. Man-to-man -man defense by the Tigers here to start thing up. Nine on the shot clock. Diaz dribbles in the lane, kicks it across. Booker had it poked away. Three in the shot clock, first turnover of the game for the Prairie Wolves. Spot for a three left side, off the rim again. Booker with another rebound. Wesleyan's living dangerously, not picking up in transition. And Doan will bury the outside shot. Last game against Morningside, one player, one player had nine three-pointers. Not the team. There's a deep three from Tecolstein. Way off the mark, but Booker with a second chance here. And they'll say Re that it Reset didn't. the shot clock, but I'm thinking it didn't hit the rim. Yep, they're Going back to 11. Put 11 back up there. Was a good look, just a little too strong on the, on the attempt. So they'll have 11 to work with here. They'll get it into Sanchez, the junior from Lincoln Luther. Tecolstein through the lane, little floater got it to go, so all four by Tecolstein. Tecolstein did good coming off the screen there, creating her own shot. In the lane and a foul, first of the game will go against the Prairie Wolves, Amanda Diaz. That's her first, team's first. Wesleyan's just struggling to pick up in transition. Wide open Tigers coming down the court. Dostal hits the first. First bucket, our free throw point of the game to Dostal, the senior from Atkinson West Holt. Not a lot of necessarily seniors. She nails the ball on this team, but a lot of returning experience. Four starters back for this Tigers. Quick in transition, another nice look. And that time it's Courtney Cook. Of course, as we talk about Wesley and not picking up people in transition, Wesley goes right down, does it to Doan. Knifing through the lane, right side off glass and in for Dostal. She has all four for the Tigers here early. Good take by Dostal, avoided getting the offensive foul there. And the dribbles, Sanchez, in traffic to Colstay. It's like a little bit of a matchup zone right now. Trying to mix things up. 14 on the shot clock. Inside, Booker, down low, good high-low action off glass, no good. Rims not very forgiving here early. Very well do stick in that man-to-man. -man. Trying to go inside, facing up mid lane, off back iron, Booker to the rebound, but poked away by Dostal. The lefty fires and hits. Six for Dostal and we're knotted up. Just as I was about to say, do, that Doan couldn't buy a bucket. They get the offensive board and get rewarded for the hustle. To Colstay, a wild shot. Booker with the putback. Up and down we go. We're going to talk about pace of play in the men's game, but so far it's the women. Getting up and down the court pretty quick here. 
Deep three pointer out at the top, but nothing but nylon for Bernard. The sophomore out of Beatrice. Had a lot of room there to take that shot. Diaz up top, they'll regroup there with Sanchez. Back to Diaz. Luker posted up inside, and they're packing that zone in. They enter front end back there. Yeah, there pass. was no space for that pass, but. First sub off the bench for the Tigers. Morgan Hill will take a seat. I think in that set, you would have liked to see a reversal there, get that zone going in the other direction. Luker on the out of bounds play, short. Over to the Tigers. Timeout in the flow for Coach Fenton wants to talk things over. It's tight early. Prairie Wolves trail at 9 to 8. Back with more after this. This summer, all Nebraskans can test their skills against some of the best amateur athletes in the nation when the 2015 State Games of America come to Lincoln and Omaha. With an estimated 20,000 athletes expected to compete in more than 60 sports, this year's event is on track to be the largest in history. Make sure you're a part of it. Register now at SGA2015.com. The 2015 State Games of America. More competition, more fun. Lucas Foreman along Wade Tracy back at Snyder Arena. 84th meeting tonight for these two teams. Dome with a sizable advantage, 60 to 23, but the last two years they have split. Three-pointer by Tecolste, about 40 seconds left. Doan had opportunities in that game to win. They had some shots, but it was an emotional night that night. A, a lot of energy in the building. It was thick pink night here. And a big conference win, especially after getting blown out earlier over in Crete. Same five out there for Nebraska Wesleyan that started the game. Cook, Diaz, Tecolste, Sanchez, and Booker. I think for both teams to get a rhythm defensively here, stop limiting these second chance points. Both teams are making a living right now on second chance. Roman inside, kicked it back out, facing up and a travel. Turnover on Dostal. She has six of the nine for the Tigers. Got caught in between passing and shooting, then wanted to drive. Sanchez runs the point as she brings it across. Now it looks like back to a man-to-man -man look from the Tigers. 15 on the shot clock. Diaz kicks it to Booker. Back to Sanchez. 10 to work with now. Diaz inside Booker. Down the baseline. Kicks it off. Point blank. Cook in the lane for two. Man-to-man -man look for Doan is just giving those two scorers for Russ Wesley and a chance to work on a one, one, a one defender as opposed to multiple defenders that the zone look was giving him. Cook in the right place at the right time there. Good find from Booker. A little assist action as well. Back on top of the Prairie Wolves. Inside they go. Battling. No call. A little bit of contact. Then a tie-up and a jump ball. Broman was down low there, the 5'11 junior from Paramount. I, I like that no call there. You had a little bit of a shoulder action and, you know, whether or not she was straight up, but I like the no call. Let him play it. Let him bang away down there. I think from a, the height size, you get Courtney Cook and Booker for the Prairie Wolves that are in there at six foot, but 5'11, 5'11 for the Tigers, their top two scorers in Broman and Dostal. Booker through the lane, scoop shot, had it blocked that time by Maggie Filippi. Great defensive positioning right there. And a carry that time on Sanchez, or Diaz. We'll say early on, Doan's biggest enemy on the offensive end has been Doan. It's, that's very well put. They've, <laughs> they've had some opportunities and they just turned it over. Missed shots, turnovers, it's been been everything Doan's doing to themselves. You know, we talked about them being able to play with a lead and establish that lead as there's a little hand check foul. That's her first, team's first. Goes against Hannah Bernard. The thing you want to do if you're Doan is to try to suck the energy out of this right away. The longer you let a team like Wesley and hang around, there's hang a around. turnover. Nearly a double dribble in transition, Felipe. Draws the foul, the freshman from Pender, Nebraska. 
home of the Pendragons. Cook picks up the foul. Second team foul on the Prairie Wolves. They can transition here, able to gather it and then just reach it in there. They got Cook. I'm not so sure that it wasn't perhaps uh, Kylie Ashley. Just showed there, Wesleyan's really, really struggling in that transition game, and that was the first time that Doan's really taken advantage of it, getting to the, getting to the free throw line here. Not it up at 10. See, she moves that mask up. Both buckets good for Philippi. That's pretty impressive that she was able to shoot, run, and put it on there all in one motion. A little token full court pressure there. Just under 15 minutes here. Staying in the man look. And that time a turnover. They'll Oops. say it was Same stunned. Say, say there, say it was touched. Back in the game. Booker returns. And coming in for the first time, number 13. Also, Ali Kala. Wesleyan right now offensively is doing a great job of getting the drive and dish. Getting one or two defenders, getting that help side defender to come over and then finding the open, open man in the lane. Cole State to key it in, gets it to Booker, faced up, right wing. They'll regroup, back out top with Kelly Sanchez. Inside to Booker, faces up, goes to work, forward on the shot clock, steps through, off glass, no. Rebound pulled out of there by Bittinger. They'll push it ahead. Thought about spotting for three was Dodd. Hard off back iron, second chance here, after the board by White. Inside they go, Philippi. With another bucket. Nicole staying out against the 1-3-1 one, one look from the Tigers. She'll jack the three on the right side and knock it down for long range. Nicole Stay says, you're going to go zone on me. I'll shoot you right out of that. Not it up again here. The Prairie Wolves have to, have to feel like they beat this team, basically almost the same team here on their floor last year. So maybe a little more confidence than normal. Runner in the lane, no good. Battle for the rebound. Good work on the glass by Philippi. Still pokes it free. Give her another one. Back-to-back -back offensive boards. Fresh shot clock. Through the lane, left side. Putting up the shot off glass too hard. Philippi, another rebound. This time she draws the foul and to the line for a pair. Going to work on the offensive boards. I think she had three offensive boards just on that possession. Just had good positioning there. Was able to get, get the offensive board fouled on the footback. That one down on the season. A 69% free throw shooter. Doan's got to knock down the free throws right now. When you're shooting 30% from the field, you got to find a way to get these points up. I'll say this early on, Nebraska Wesleyan doesn't, doesn't carry themselves like a team that's 2-12 and 12 on the season. Philippines, second free throw on the soft rim, rolls in. Four for four from the line. Back to a two-point Wesleyan. Deficit on the wing. Back That's into the man. K-Log. Well, nice lob down low. Had a block though. Cook got her own rebound. Put it in. Courtney Cook, the six-foot junior from Overland Park, Kansas. Tigers quickly the other way though. Now the Prairie Wolves. Stay with that man-to-man. -man. Good take on the left side. Last touch by the Prairie Wolves. That time is good drive, good quick first step. Roman checks back in. Philippi did her work, came in, got six points while spelling Roman. Back up top, swing around. Three-point field goal. Off back iron, no good. Stays with the Tigers again. 
Lots of second chances for the Tigers. <laughs> Nebraska Wesleyan's had their chances to kind of separate here early on. It's 26% from the field. Doan's got to find a way to start making some buckets here that aren't from the charity strike. There's one from 17 up and in for Hannah Dostal. Getting Dostal going will be key for Doan moving forward. Steel taken away. Nifty footwork on that far sideline. Transition through the lane. Contact, and it's going to be a blocking foul. Two shots coming up for Brittany White. Sanchez with the foul, her first. No real foul trouble here early on. Four fouls. You take a look, and on the time the ball just bringing it up and through, kind of got caught in the wrong place. But that was the that was the definition block charge. That could have gone either way. Free throws good by Brittany White. She's a 5'7 junior out of Plainview, Nebraska. And one rattles home as well. Jones 8 for 8 from the free throw line. They've yet to see Wesleyan even get to the charity stripe yet. The full court pressure broken easily that time by Kelly Sanchez. Through the lane, Diaz gives it up to Booker. She gives it back to Diaz. Good ball move. Made away from 12, no good. Rebound. Controlled by Broman. The Good Tigers luck. will push. They have numbers. Crossover through the lane. Kick out. Thought about the three. Inside, up and under. Nifty move that time by Dostal. Got the defender going one way. Step back. Laid it. Had an easy layup coming in. Diaz on the wing. We'll swing it around. Courtney Cook, six foot junior out there. Runner on the left side. The rebound for Doan. Now Doan doing their job on the defensive side of the glass. As good as Nebraska Wesleyan's offense looked, their last two possessions have kind of been a little bit scatterbrained. Down low, facing up, taking back out, reset. Got 15 in the shot clock. Good take again. That time, Hannah Bernard. That drive was made with the first step. First step, and she was gone. She had a quick first step earlier on the opposite wing as well. That's a, a good. Acceleration. Driving baseline. Yes. Need a good, calm offensive set here for Wesleyan. Got to get points this trying time. Trying to down. open it up here. There's a take on the right side. Battle for the rebound. The Tigers come out with it. They have numbers if they push. Across Bernard in traffic. Wesleyan's so got to stem this run somehow. The transition work that time. Larry Wolves go to work against now man-to-man -man pressure from the Tigers. The jumper from 18, no good. Booker with an offensive board and a putback rolls around and down for Bridget Booker. Starts with the starts with getting a bucket. Now they got to get a stop. In transition, they quickly push it ahead and had a chance. Good pass inside, give the assist that time to Dostal on the bucket to Morgan Hill. Hill just got lost in the zone there and ended up all by herself underneath the basket. As you said, the way it started with that transition again. Nebraska Wesleyan unable to find people and pick them up. Wesleyan swings it around left side, up top of the key. Cook, not really a threat all the way out there. Drives through, puts up a wild shot, draws contact. She will go to the line for a pair. That might be what Nebraska Wesleyan's got to start doing here. Just start start getting some Tigers into foul trouble and start getting some points from the line here. Take a look. She started all the way top of the key. Not really an outside threat. Good spin move that time on Broman. They called the foul on White, who was coming over late and help. Cook on the season. 87.8% from the line. Seven points here on the night. Number 24, Tukolsky. And number 34, Ashley. Second one good as well. Timeout on the floor. Quick timeout. We'll pause as well. Back with more. Prairie Wolves trail at 27 to 19. Whatever you want to be in life, you can certainly do it. I wanted a small school, small campus where I could be one-on-one -on -one with my professors. It's just like one big family. Not to mention the, the kind of education she gets is wonderful. 
I didn't apply to any of the schools. I know Wesleyan was the one that I wanted to come to. We want you to come join us and be part of the Prairie Wolf family and be a part of the tradition of success. 27-19, the Tigers on top of Prairie Wolves here in the Nebraska Wesleyan Sports Network. 2-45 and 45 in GPAC play, and so we talked about it. It was here last year, a 28-game conference losing streak. Coach Fett just in her second year, though, trying to rebuild this program. If Wesleyan wants to stem this tide here, they got to start getting some defensive rebounds. They're getting just killed on the glass right now. 15 to 4, 7, excuse me, 15 to 7. Rebounding edge for Doan. Cole State sealed off that time and was able to control that defensive board. They got to start holding Doan to one shot and done. They can't be getting three and four opportunities. Deep three by Cole stays up and in. That'll get you back in it too. That'll get you in it. You know, sometimes her shot may not look the prettiest, but it goes in. They gave that her space that time, almost dared her to shoot it, and she knocked it down. Reminiscent of last season when she knocked a few down. Back to a five point deficit. There's a step back three. No good battle for the rebound, but a foul is going to be called. And a good job on the boards that time by Kylie Ashley. Much better positioning this after the timeout. Probably something that got addressed in the timeout. Go down, get some points, and cut it cut into this lead here. Foul there was on Heather Broman, her first. This is the third team foul on the Tigers here. Eight. 15 on the clock as we roll first half. Got a feed to Colstay here. She's hot right now. Get it to her, get another, get another shot up for her. Looks back to Coach Fett with 10 seconds here. And a shell crosses over left side. Jumper from 15, no good. And controlling the board, it's Broman. Quickly ahead and lost in transition that time. Allie Satterley. This wasn't looking for the ball in transition there, and if she has her head on a swivel, she's probably able to maybe get a layup. A, 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 kind of beating a dead horse here with this transition game. Wesley's just getting killed right now with that. It hasn't burned them too bad yet. And maybe it'll hang around here. It's opened up to an eight-point cushion. Up top is Shell. She's a freshman. To Colstay, works right baseline, spins through the double team, and off glass. Gotta keep feeding her right now. Didn't, didn't even touch the ball last time down. 12 points for Tocolste and through traffic, poked away. They'll regroup 20 in the shot. That's a deep three pointer off glass, no good for Dodd. That was almost an end of the shot clock, deep three. Poked away, lazy pass that time. Down the lane, the hoop and the harm that time for Shelby Bittinger, the junior out of Milford. Not a good, uh, not a good uh, little stretch there for uh, for Shell. Telegraphed the pass and then compounded things by uh, a very light foul there. Yeah, it, right there. If, if you're going to either concede the basket or you make sure that you take away the hoop, and that time it just wasn't enough. So the old-fashioned three-point play here is. Bittinger sizes it up, knocks it home. And the little mistakes like that are mistakes you can't make when you're trying to get your first win in a conference like the GPAC. Yeah, they pile up on you, they sneak up on you, and all of a sudden you went from being down six to down 26. And they're, they're, the teams in the GPAC are good enough to get points on you anyway. You can't concede points like that. To Colse, a crazy shot off the left side, gets her own rebound, and they'll regroup with a fresh 30. Jack up a three left side, in and out. Booker battled for the rebound, but Philippine knocked it, took it away. So you Good still box think if you're, if you're Wesleyan, that's a shot you'd rather have taken. Good backdoor cut. Help defense was there. 13 on the shot clock. Up top is Hill. Guard, five, looks for a screen, dribbles out. Kicks it away. They got to get a shot up here. They do. Barely clips iron. They had no Block. room on that one. They think there's a shot that clock violation. I think I just heard it, and then the turnover after Philippine knocks it off her own foot. Well, that was a crazy little stretch of possession. It looked like a shot clock violation. Then you had a block, and then I a think, turnover. And I and think and half the players thought it was going to be a violation. They kind of let up one of those. You think the runner's down. Take a look. A little up and under here. 
good setup, and I just, I, hey. from our vantage point where we're sitting up here, I just barely, these rims are loose. You can hear them. I thought that I heard it. I thought the, I mean, and if you're going to let them play through that, you let them play through the end of the possession at least. Trying to get within two possessions to Colstein. Good little fine. wraparound pass. Nice look inside that, for that's Kylie the, old, the ball Ashley. doesn't lie. That's <laughs> down the lane in traffic that time is. That, and that's what Doan was doing early on that kind of built this lead when they were attacking the rim. They kind of got away from it the last couple possessions, went right back to it. Boy, Wesleyan's got to start doing something. It, these passes aren't, uh, aren't open and they're getting sealed off. They're being sealed off and still forcing that pass in there. Thought about the three, instead takes it down, throws it up, and a travel. Hopped on that one foot as she tried to get the shot up. Good trying defense to, trying by Trying to Boucher. draw the contact there, and defender just had a lot better positioning, I think, that she was assuming she would have. When you're looking at McKenna Dodd, I think, or check that on the drive there, it was Morgan Hill, a 5'8 sophomore. She's going up against six, six foot Bridget Booker. I think that. Now the thing you got to find if you're Wesleyan is with Tecolstay on the bench, Good who's going to get those. Uh, Who's going to get those points for him now? That was a good take there, though. Back into the top. Nice crossover out of the top by Kelly Sanchez. Had it poked away at the end. 20 on the shot clock. Battling for positions in there. It's out of bounds play. Curl it in the corner to Kayla. Back up top to Sanchez. Diaz trying to find something down low. You get it to Booker. Eight, she goes baseline, yeah. and they're going to say too much body that time by Philippi. You, just, it, you can tell the emphasis is to get it down low for Nebraska Wesleyan, but sometimes they're almost just forcing it. Good defensive positioning here, just a little too much body. Booker tried to get it back to Diaz out of the out-of-bounds play. Sanchez up top nearly carried it. He's a nifty ball handler. 19 in the shot clock. They call out a play. Coach Fat says four down. They get it out to Sanchez. Back to Diaz. 10 now to work with. Down the lane. Kicks it out. Spin move through traffic. Off glass and in for Ooh, Kelly nice Sanchez. Little take right there. The, the, the confusing part about the Wesleyan offense there was there wasn't a whole lot of movement away from the ball. Sanchez pokes it away. Under approaching that four minute mark first half and the Curry Wolves hanging around. That, that's their recipe is to hang around and to have a shot at the end. Good head fake, gotta respect that outside shot. She gets into the lane, Dostal with another two. She has a dozen on the lane. Now it's man to man pressure going up. Right in the face. You see Philippi come out there and she's gonna pick up her second. Been better than Philippi. That's her second team spin. Philippi just a little too aggressive out there, and that's probably where Coach Fairbanks, she doesn't want her to pick up the foul there. She wants yeah. her to pick those fouls up on the inside, contesting a shot. Yeah, if she, if she's going to get the foul, it's, it's don't even let them get to the rim. I, you know, not while she's driving past you there. Six point game here. Tigers led by as many as eight. You can definitely see that Doan has circled the scores for Nebraska Wesleyan because they are getting all sorts of attention as soon as the ball even comes good, their way. Good double that time on the entry pass when they take it away. We haven't seen Doan dock down many triples, and that's what they did against Morningside. Inside, going to work that time. Rebound to Cook. They will knock down some three-point field goals, that is for sure. As a team, they shoot about 31% from beyond the arc. I thought we were going to see a lot more from beyond the arc tonight. Haven't yet seen a lot more going to the basket. Foul's going to be called there on Broman. Coach Fairbanks thought she was there in plenty of time. It'll be underneath, no shots. The next one is the bonus for the Prairie Wolves. Thought they called that on the shot, but it's going to say it's on the floor. He has lost it. Might have got away with a double dribble. Say it was poked free. Swing around Booker posted on the block. 
Luker's been kind of quiet, just four points. Lob it down low, but a little too far on that pass, trying to go high low to Cook. Last few times down the floor, Wesleyan's isolated one side of the court, and Doan's only had to defend half the court. They're not having to defend, they're not getting spread out. They're not getting, you know, movement away from the ball. Wesleyan's got to get that ball moving around a little bit. Not even seeing much in the way of screens either. Trying to get an open look from that arc, and before the shot, another hand check. Ms. Simon's going to go on Shell, her second, That's team second. six. So both teams from here on out, see right here, just a little grab on the way by. She'll sit down. Tigers with a fresh 30 inside, nice, nice look. That was one where the pass didn't create the shot, the cut created the shot. Good movement without the ball. Roman just now getting in the Scoring ledger. Shots too hard. Rebound now, if you're Wesleyan, Dostal. you got to finish this half without letting Doan get on too much of a run here. You got to finish the half out and keep it close. Equaled their biggest lead right now of eight. White tries to go inside, does, and Roman back to back buckets for the junior from Fillmore Central. Starting to see some of those body blows that were landed early on going down low. Maybe didn't get him to fall. Getting a little bit better looks now going to the basket. Good position that time by Broman. Just sealed it off the entire way. Got to get points this time down for Wesley. Cole State off glass. No, battle for the board. Jump ball up top. It'll go back to the Tigers. Ten point cushion now is the biggest lead of the game for the Tigers. Nebraska Wesleyan led 4-0. In the lane, nowhere to go through traffic. Shot in the lane that time for White. It was amongst the trees. Good transition defense that's, by the Tigers that that's time. That's what I was just going to say. It looked like Wesleyan was going to try to push the tempo, but when there's five Tigers in the, in the paint, it's hard to do that. Cole stay on the drive, kicks it out, Cook, down the lane, off glass, hoop and harm. Okay. Cook's having a nice evening. Nine points, chance to make it, or check that 10 points. Reach in on Bittinger there. Is. Cook short on that one. Back to an eight-point lead. Right at one minute left here. First half action. We'll have the men's game for you as well here in the Nebraska Wesleyan Sports Network. Tigers, 13 to work with on the shot clock. Deep three-pointer. Off front iron. Rebound taken by Diaz. Sanchez pushes. In the corner, three on the way, no good. Battle for it. Still all loose on the floor. Dome comes away with it. Has numbers two on one. Cross the lane, bounce pass. Off glass. Got it. Good composure there to let the flyby happen. Hey, I think if you're Wesleyan there, that's a good, you know, go up, try to block the shot, but don't draw the foul. Don't get yourself in a bigger hole. Shot clock is off. Nebraska Wesleyan can play for one here. Trail it 40 to 30. To Cole State. Little head fake down the lane. Muscles it up. Pretty good defensive position. Second chance. Knock three again. Tigers with three seconds. Will they get a shot? A half quarter, good to go. And it doesn't. In the books after one. The Prairie Wolves trail the Tigers 40 to 30 here on the Nebraska Wesleyan Sports Network. We'll be back with second half action after the timeout. Oh, hi there. Sorry, couldn't see you at first. I'm Ryan with LES's Save Money, Saving Energy, and it's first filter Friday, so I'm just checking my furnace filter here. Looks like it's about time for a clean one, which I just happen to have right here. You know, a small investment today can really reduce your heating costs and improve your efficiency. You can really see the savings. Yeah? <laughs> for more tips like this, visit us at les.com or do a search for LES Video Vault on YouTube. We will see you next time. Keisha 
pick Westland because it's a school that whatever you want to be in life, you can certainly do it. I wanted a small school, small campus where I could be one-on-one -on -one with my professors. It's just like one big family. Not to mention the, the kind of education she gets is wonderful. I didn't apply to any of the schools. I know Westland was the one that I wanted to come to. We want you to come join us and be part of the Prairie Wolf family and be a part of the tradition of success. I always paid attention to fashion when I was growing up. And it's just fun to see it go from sketch pad all the way to actually being on shelves. Shoulder is a scarf with a pocket that you can store all of your basic necessities in. I think it's pretty amazing how quickly the company's grown. Union Bank has believed in me from day one. They have moved mountains for me to bring my product to life. The opportunity with Shoulder has led me all over the country. I love what I do.